Hey guys, welcome to Michigan where Andre and I are enjoying a lovely day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, the day is lovely, but Roman, this is not a nature show. It's about the new electric Silverado work truck. Yep, that's right. And in this video, guys, we're going to do a complete walk around. We're going to go take it for a ride. And at the end of this video, Andre, we're going to let them know just how much range it has because the number is staggering. So let's start yeah. where we always start. That's under the hood. Yes, well, this is a frunk. It's okay, no, sorry, under the frunk. It's no longer the hood. And I have it open here. So this is a work truck. This is the fanciest work truck in their lineup. And this is the one they're starting with. And the frunk is about 10.7 cubic feet of overall volume. Uh, that number is okay, but it's less than the 14 cubic feet that you can get in the F-150 Lightning Pro, which is what this compete against, right? Yep, exactly right. Uh, except uh, that this, well, has a much bigger battery. And while GM has not told us how big the battery is, they have told us the range. Like I said, we'll tell you at the end of this video. So yeah. let's do a walk around, kind of show me this truck Close Let me, up and personal, Andre. Yeah. What kind of wheels and tires are we rolling on? So um, these are Bridgestone Alenza, and this size is 265-70R18. I put it into my calculator. This is about a 32.6 inch tire. But this truck, if you step back, this truck looks massive, right? It's very long. It's very long, but actually it's deceiving. I think your eye is playing tricks on you because the wheelbase from the very front axle line to the very back axle line is about the same as a standard Silverado. It's about 145 inches. Andre, those uh, doors just look enormous. Well, yeah, look, I'm almost 6'3". This door just looks insanely big, and it is big. Now, of course, uh, this being a work truck, it's in white. I asked uh, our Chevy representative if they're doing other colors he wasn't sure but i think this is the work truck color it is also the hummer ev color ironically which we owned for a number of months yes so this is let's talk about the chassis right so it's their ultium chassis they call it electrified chassis uh two motors one motor in the front one motor in the back 510 horsepower combined and gm guys told us that the front motor is actually a little bit more beefy um, it's basically the same motor as the Hummer uh, EV. And the rear, in the Hummer, in the first edition Hummer, there's two motors in the back. Not the case here. This is just a single motor in the back. Uh, and, of course, the aerodynamics of this truck remind you of what? What does uh, this look like? Oh, you got me caught right avalanche. now. Avalanche. Oh, Avalanche. Of course. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, yes. Yes. Because uh, the regular version of this... The RST, which we'll also be looking at, uh, but in a different video, has that mid-gate, but the work truck does not have the mid-gate. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, isn't it? So if you're wondering what the mid-gate is, basically there would be an opening right there where you could pass stuff through. Yeah, but this is a work truck. This is still a very large space. How big is the uh, bed? So I believe this is like six and a half foot. So this doesn't get the fancy folding tailgate. This is kind of a standard one. There is a foothold. This is the single pro, Andre, not the multi-pro. <laughs> one pro. Uh, there's a foothold. Yes. I can get in. And you could see, I mean, this is a huge bed space, which GM has been doing for a long time. And they're quite, quite good at making this. Now, guys, we are doing a lot of videos from this first drive event. So we'll have an off-road video. Andre's going to get to tow with this. And we'll talk about towing numbers in a second. So head on over to All TFL if you want to see more than just this first drive of the work truck. So what do we got over here, Andre? I see a bunch of outlets. Yeah, so this is cool. So uh, the F-150 kind of started this, right? Yes. So power on board, they call it. This is also power. This is 240 volt, 120 volt outlets up to 7.2 kilowatt uh, of output in back and also 2.4 in the front but i think you can combine it for up to 10.7 kilowatt so a lot of energy that this truck can export to your job site or your campsite whatever you want now uh, i'm going to show you a little easter egg here andre and i first came here and of course andre crawled underneath it and he was wondering how <laughs> you get the spare tire because this one has a spare tire so yeah we we didn't know until we rolled back the 10 out cover because we saw these two little plastic things here yeah so you pop these little plastic guys and there's two basically bolts where you can spin it with a handle right and lower the spare tire but roman i think we need to get underneath because truck guys 
go underneath their trucks. Well, I'm, I'm sure if you guys have been watching our coverage, especially of the Hummer EV, you'll know that it had air suspension. Uh, this one does not. This one does not. Here, I'll give you the camera because um, well, let me look. You get dirty. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of the truck guy, right? Yeah. So Roman, I was kind of surprised when I saw this. There's a little bit of a like a metal basket that this tire, the spare tire, is sitting in, and you could see these two cables I was talking about one on each side that lets the tire down but it's also not a full-size spare so it's kind of a bummer but what you're gonna do now let me show this you guys how they package let it. me show you guys something uh, there are two levels four levels of work truck right wt yeah um and this is the uh like the lt the highest right this is the wt1 uh and this uh, is four wt Four, I always get that backwards. There's yeah. four WT, there's three WT, and these are the first two that they're going to be selling to fleets. So if you want one of these, you better have fleet access to GM's uh, sales because fleet number, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's not readily available right now. So here's where the charge port is. This is, of course, CCS. Yes. But Mary Barra announced something recently, right? Yes, she announced that she's bringing back the Bolt. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she announced that she's partnering with Tesla. Actually, we asked the... Uh, show you guys about that and they suspect that at some point that will not only have an adapter but maybe even a, a tesla style uh, uh port yeah but you know what's interesting this is kind of unique because in the lightning truck the charge port is by the front door yes this was in the back kind of like a tesla would yeah exactly so uh it's on the uh, driver's side in the same location a tesla would have Yeah, there's so nothing here yeah so it's easier to back up to a stall as opposed to having to you know uh, go around the other side of it i guess so the side steps are here um, and they're included in this 4WT, the most fancy one. We'll tell you the price in a second. Um, yeah, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Near the end of this video. But Roman, how much does this truck weigh? Um, so our <laughs> Hummer EV weighed, we weighed at 9,450 pounds. How about yes. this guy? How much does it weigh? Well, let's take a look at a couple numbers. So first we have to look at, uh, let's see, gross vehicle weight. 9,990 pounds, okay. so just under 10K. Yeah, that's, that's GVWR. Yes, and the payload is, the payload is 1,427. So do some Decent. math, Andre. So that's 8,560 pounds. Well, so it's a thousand pounds lighter than the Hummer EV. Yeah. But still, but still, it's heavy. a bit of a chunky monkey. Yes, so we um, this is a comparable weight to uh, like a F-350 Dually diesel so that's that's what you're dealing with so, so i'm sure it tows as much right as an f350 no no it does not <laughs> how, about, uh, how about how about how about a 3500 silverado let's stay in the family quite. but you know this weight this has to do with the battery right yeah. the battery is so massive that's where a lot of this weight comes from this tows up to 10,000 pounds which is actually the same as the f-150 lightning pro yeah or actually not the pro um, you could have to get the max tow package, right? Right. Uh, with the F-150 Lightning to get 10,000 so, pounds. So, so while we're talking about the battery on the Lightning, uh, let's talk about what we know about the Lightning. So the Pro has, how big of a battery? The, the regular one uh, that we had. It's had like 92, 92 kilowatt and ours hour. 135 yep. Yep. kilowatt hour battery. Yep. Uh, GM has not announced how big their battery is, but the Hummer EV, which this is loosely based on. Had it's like a, 212, right? Yeah, exactly. Usable. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you're going to be surprised by how far this can go on a single charge, but we're going to keep you guessing until we get to the end. So let's take a look at the inside. Uh, once again, this is a work truck, so don't expect a lot of fanciness. Nope. So basic seats. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So it's not automatic. Not automatic. Right. You slide it manually. Yeah. Right. You slide it like this. No lumbar support. Nope. And recline it. Yeah. It goes pretty far, actually. And, and you know. Kind of basic plastics here, right? Yep, cup holders. Um, do you want to show them a couple of Easter eggs in the in the cup holders in the door? Uh, yeah. Look down below. Yeah, I see those. So there's like bottles and yeah. an umbrella. Oh, like like that's where you're supposed to put your bottles and umbrellas. Are they giving you a hint? You know what I like? I actually like the design of these. I think these are really kind of cool. Like uh, futuristic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look really. You know, usually there's the round ones, uh, but this is something I've never seen before. Pretty cool. Can I grab the camera from you? Yeah, of course. So, uh, and we'll start it up and show you how that works. The brake controller is on the left. Okay. So the integrated trailer brake controller is Mr. here. Mr. Truck would not be happy. He's right-handed. <sighs> yeah, because we sometimes, we often expect the brake controller to be somewhere in this area. You also have your tow haul mode here, uh, your lane assist, 
your front uh, opening button, cruise control here, and of course <coughs> your... What'd you say? Cruise control. Oh, ah, cruise control. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's, it's got cruise control. Yeah, w, yeah, for WT. Yeah. And of course your music and menu selection here. And then you have hard buttons for your HVAC, which is nice. And then if you're uh, used to GM's new uh, infotainment, it's going to be very similar. We had it actually in our ZR2. That's where I first saw it. Yeah, yeah with so, Google. Yeah, it's Do Google. you want to get in the back seat? I hey, want to show you. Yeah. I want to show them how, yeah, how this works. See how I fit. I mean, I mean look at this door, dude. <laughs> I, I, it's like a limo. I mean, if you're in a tight parking lot, you're going to certainly be having some... Uh, door ding issues as in you're going to be digging some doors uh, look at this uh, tons of room tons of headroom obviously no sunroof um, you know three seating back here we got vinyl floors we have two usb c ports down here yep and look at this Ta -da! vents vents for the rear passengers how cool is that um and you know i'm gonna be honest here we like to try this thing these things before we actually film, but I haven't tried this, so let's see if I can fold up the seat or fold down the seat. Oh, I think you'll do it just just fine. Bam! You yeah. You know, GM is one of the easiest ones on the seats. Yeah. And look, pretty flat floor, not perfectly flat. Yes. But I would say fairly flat, and I think you may be able to extend this somehow to have extra storage, um, so things don't roll around. You know, um, Blaze, what's your dog's name? Uh, Jack. They would love this. Jack and Blaze would hang out here. Look at this, yeah. It's just a ton of room for yeah. a Bernese Mountain Dog, and yours is kind of a mutt, right? Uh, well, it's a Havanese. Havanese, okay. Well, I don't know what a Havanese. Well, it's a, it doesn't matter. Okay, anyway. anyway Small anyway, dog. Yeah. Small dog. So, obviously, two dogs for all you uh, working men and women who <laughs> have pets. <laughs> You'll love that. Uh, the other thing we found out about it is it does have a really great turning radius now yes. it doesn't have rear wheel steering like the hummer ev but why don't you start it up and then why don't you show them just how uh tight of a turn it does i want to show you something else okay. roman go for it my, the key is in my pocket yeah it's a standard key if you like chevy keys you're gonna love the key to this yes and when i close the door thump there is no button so huh. the truck is already kind of ready to hey, go hey you want to tease them with the, the range uh, I saw on the screen that you had 77% 77% of the battery and you had how many miles? Show how many miles are left. I have 360 miles so, left. So we can surmise from that that you have at least 360 miles of range. So in the Ford F-150 Lightning, yeah. ours, that was like 320 miles on a 100% charge. Yes. This is how much bigger this battery is. All right. Um, Go for it, show them the turning radius, I'll film you. Okay. See if you can, see if you can, I mean, this is a very big space right here, but see how tight of a turn you can make and come back to pick me up, okay? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll be quiet, you talk, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm putting it into gear, and I'm gonna go into this slightly smaller area, and I'm gonna try to make a full turn. It's impressive. Dude, that's very impressive. For such a large, full-size truck. I don't yeah. know, what do you think? 30 feet, 35 feet, something like that? Maybe 40, it's not as tight as the Hummer. Okay. The Hummer turned really, really tight. But this, for not having four-wheel steer, I think, look how the tire just cuts. It cuts really, really steep. So I'm really impressed. All right, let's uh, jump in and take her for a ride. Now, um, Hey, let me in. <laughs> now, uh, we know the zero to 60 time, but before we uh, tell the guys that and the gals, uh, yeah. let's, can you hold this for a second? Yes. Uh, let's just accelerate and kind of give them a sense for, for what, how it feels like to accelerate in this. Now, once again, we keep mentioning the Hummer EV. We should be talking about the Lightning uh, Pro, but the Hummer EV will do zero to 60 in like three and a half seconds. Yeah, in WTS low mode. Yeah, so uh, the Lightning was like, so the more powerful lightning, lightning the extended had, range we drove the last um, guy, yeah. they now claim like four seconds or low four seconds yeah um this is not gonna beat that because this is a work truck right um the, they claim 5.7 but look at this i have a column shift i like that also yeah it clears up all this room so you have a ton of space yeah look here. how deep this is yeah this is tremendously deep 
this but is there's huge. A, there's a, uh, two ports there and a uh, uh, wireless charger as well. And there's a little truck symbol, like the little... Let me zoom in It's on hard to see. Yeah. Do you see the little truck symbol? Is that a wireless charger? Or is that just me? Let me try. I don't know. Maybe I'm making... It, it may, it may, I, don't I don't know if it's I don't, equipped I don't, with one. I don't think it is, Andre. I think I was making that up. No luck? No. No. It just has two USB-C ports. Oh, but maybe okay. some other models will have it. Yeah, I mean, it feels like that's where it should be. Let's see how much room is in here. Yeah, it's, you know, it's plastic but it's huge. big, yeah. All right, uh, give her the beans, Andre. Let's well, see. Well, let me. I'm not going to go into the forest that you love. No, no, don't go into but... the forest. <laughs> I, love... <laughs> hey, I grew up in the Chicago land, and I know that sounds weird for all of you people who are not from Chicago land. It's like Disneyland, right? Are you ready? Why don't you Nick, go straight? It's like you're gonna go. Ooh. Well, somebody already was exercising their power here. So, are we looking at um, all-wheel drive here, right? Yes, all-wheel drive. So, how, two motors. How about a lockable diff? Not on this one. Uh, not on this one because yeah. I think some other versions will have it. Yeah. But traction control should be here. All right. All right. Okay. Let her rip. Whoa! We're gonna hit the Ranger. No, we're not gonna hit the Ranger. <laughs> oh, so it has some sound. Right, the speakers are playing this kind of little acceleration noise. Yeah, so in case you're wondering if um, we were timing that, GM would say it goes from 0 to 60 in about 5.6 seconds, I believe. Yeah, 5.8-ish, right? Yeah, so... So, but still, that's quick. Yeah, that will beat most sports cars, at least most internal engine sports cars. Um, so let's talk about like the biggest difference between this and the Lightning. Uh, and to me, immediately what comes to mind is I always think that the Lightning is a little under batteried. In other words, it doesn't have enough battery, right? When we were cross country tripping it, uh, we were lucky to get 250 ish miles. Yeah, we never saw like highway. over 300. Yeah, and it's we, supposed to be over 300 for yeah. the extended range. Uh, but this one, you want to give them the big number, Andre? 450 miles. I know, it's crazy. 450. And you know what? You're going to need that. Uh, when you're towing, right? Because you might as well cut that in half. Let's just be, let's just be realistic. When you're yeah. towing, it's so more like still, half. So 200 miles towing, that's a decent number, actually. It is, yeah. That can take you across, you know, half of Colorado if you wanted to. Yeah, and let's say you're towing, I don't know, 8,000 pounds like your boat, right? Maybe 6,000, I think your yeah. boat is, right? Yeah. Uh, you might actually get more than that, uh, and that actually makes it a usable truck. Now, GM has not told us the size of the battery, uh, I think I mentioned that before, which is uh, something I'm sure will come out in the weeks and months to come. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty impressive. So I talked to the GM guys yeah. about this truck again, uh -huh. and they said there are two modes right now in the work truck. Normal, which we're in. Yep. Also tow haul mode. Um, so, and it just kind of gives you different amounts of torque. So the tow haul mode is, you know, it gives you a little bit more power to get the big trailers moving. Yeah. Uh, but then there's variable number of um, region strengths, right? Yeah, so you can about, have... I was about to ask about What's it like? Is it region? It's, it's one pedal. Yeah. So I was using basically one pedal. Like right now, look. I'm letting go, and it's not super aggressive. Uh, but I believe I can control that. Power base. Oh, this is to export power. Yeah, I think you, I think you want to get out of here. And you want to be where controls, maybe? No, I went That's to the same place you did, yeah. Trailering. There you go. We're le learning this truck also, guys, because this is kind of our first chance, first real chance to get to know it. Charging, there you go. Click on, click on charging. Let's see what that does. 80% next charge, charge assist. Oh, you can schedule it from home. That's good. The vehicle status. Energy, energy and let's go to energy. I'd love to know, like, that has a, those are numbers. So we're getting, well, okay, we, we don't know who's been driving in. The and I've been kind of stepping on it, yeah, too. So, so two miles per kilowatt hour. Let me put that in perspective, right? Uh, the Hummer EV that I uh, drove uh, to Moab got about 1.4. Um, in the Lightning, we were getting like uh, one point nine, sometimes, sometimes over five. two. Yeah. Sometimes over two. It depends on your st driving, right? Yeah. In the city, electric vehicles really love the city because stop and go, stop and go helps the battery kind of get a little bit more replenished. Highway driving is difficult, right? Because you're, you're all you're always pushing into the wind, right? Yeah, and, and you're I'm, always going. 
All right, uh, on the uh, cannonball you just did, what, you remember what you got? I think it was 3.3, .3, right? In the Tesla? In the Tesla, like, so three and a half-ish. And our Bolt gets uh, up oh. to 4.4. Yeah, over 4.4. 4. 4. But look, this should be much more aerodynamic uh, than a Hummer EV, right? And it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's got four-wheel independent suspension with coils. So, so I, can I show you the, the things I really like? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you my top three, okay? Number three in typical TFL fashion. I like these little numbers inside there. Yeah. That's nice. And that you've got dual temperature controls. Number two, I do like that screen in front of you. Yep. And this is kind of basic stuff, right? Yeah. The more, um, like, the more expensive versions of this truck uh, will have uh, more integrated screens. And I know I was kind of giving a, you know, scratchy, uh, noisy uh, kind of uh, critique, but I do love everything in here is work trucky, right? This is uh, the kind of truck where you could come in here after working out or after being at a job site or, you know, after, like, you like to uh, go uh, uh, water, ski water skating, right? Water to, skiing. To the lake? Yeah, yeah. Roman, I found it. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Nice. I found it. So, uh, and this is maybe not the best. I don't like this system because oftentimes you you would have to kind of go to different screens. Let's see, vehicle status. And then there's the I controls. Know. I know. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's but there's more controls. Drive and park. And, and now you can do control your one pedal driving. I know. Uh, so, like I was saying, what I like is it's very utilitarian, which it should be. How about cameras? So we do have, let me show you, lots of camera views. Okay, good. And we have to talk about price. We have to close with that. So um, we've already had a controversy about that. If you go on Chevy's website right now, it says uh, the one WT um, starts at 39000 uh, 900 but plus it, destination but charges. it doesn't does it let's go no. outside we'll finish this off yeah. yeah but it doesn't it, that price is going to go up and um, this uh 4wt andre this is uh this is the number that's also very big just like the range number what's the 4wt Seventy eight thousand. Whew. Seventy eight thousand. so that's a lot of money for a work truck yeah but you're still getting everything we just showed you right but it depends on your business, right? A lot of municipalities, cities, or power companies are buying them. Well, you're certainly over that 6,000 number <laughs> in terms of your tax situation. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big number. So the 3WT will be about 72,000. Yeah. And the um, GM guys are telling us that their base base work truck with a smaller battery in a smaller range uh, will be competitively priced. And the Lightning Pro, the F-150 Lightning Pro, currently starts at 59.9, basically. So, so basically 60K. So, so that number on the website might go up 10K, realistically. Uh, yes, yeah. we don't know. We don't know, but it will go up. All right. Uh, and then uh, final question here. I'll, yeah. I'll finish this up. In my beautiful Midwestern weather, I forget what it's like to be hot and muggy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> having spent the last 30 years in Colorado. But when is this available, Andre? When can people go to their fleet manager and order one? Well, technically now. Okay. But really, for a lot of us, the consumers, in the fall of this year, the RST model comes out, and then on and on and on. So first we're getting the WT1. Or is it 1WT? No, it's 1W. No, 4WT. 4WT. Then the 3WT. Yes. And then for consumers, the RST. Yes. You can see how that's it's, a little confusing. It's confusing, and also the timing is a little bit variable. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, like I said, we're going to do a lot more videos from here. So Andre's going to get the to tow. Uh, I'm going to get to go off-roading. And if we have enough time and the ability, we're going to do a comparison of this to the RST uh, and show you how that midgate works. And that's all at alltfl.com. We're not sure what the publishing schedule will be like, but just go to alltfl.com. And as always, thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Ciao.